We don't have any more lights. Mm-hmm. A while ago, when we were driving to travel to Sweden, we did have a major failure while on the highway in Germany. We didn't have any more headlights just after stopping on a road station on the highway. managed to solve the issue only the next morning so we did sleep on the highway uh, that night and we were able to solve the issue with the help of you guys on social media especially on Facebook and also maybe WhatsApp groups how did you solve the issue it was mainly Facebook help so this is the first a thing that we do if we don't know why there's a failure and that we need help we ask for your help so this is the really good part of uh, this uh, community and all the social media that we have available today and the second thing that is really important is knowing the vehicle so today we have a small failure it's well it's a failure we're not going to call it a small failure we don't have any more lights, mm -hmm. again, but it's not exactly the same failure. So as my husband does know well the car, he's going to do uh, a few checks to be sure of what he thinks it is. And I'm just going to help him. So we're just going to check that we really don't have the lights. Just a second, I have to take the phone. The shoes. <laughs> so, ooh. okay, first check is the fuse. I'm gonna get out of the car. And also what is important obviously is to have the tools. There's no lights. You're gonna tell me. You check the fuse. What did you do? Did you remove it and put it back in? Did he say yes? I don't know. No. No lights. So there. So he thinks it's the, I don't know how you called it. What is the name in English? This? No. In English. Uh, you're gonna tell me the name of this. I don't remember what's the name of this. The switch. It's a yeah, switch. switch. Oh, yeah, just a simple switch. So the first, the failure we had when we were going to Sweden, it was this one. So we had to replace it. He did manage to like tweak everything, and we were able to leave the highway the next day. It was at night. We couldn't like go out of the highway, so it was really, really annoying. But with the help of you guys, we were able to tweak it and use it. Uh, doing all our travel uh, through Sweden for uh, about 10 days and then when we arrived home uh, we were able to replace it but today it's this one that doesn't uh, seem to work Possibly. anymore maybe but there so knowing the car having the tools also to open everything to do some checks and tweak if you are able to do it this does help a lot so this is how we solve our failures while on the road. It always happens while you're driving, <laughs> obviously, and that you're not at home. And yeah, so depending on the failure, we ask for your help. Knowing the car does help to uh, know more about what could, what could cause the failure and also helps for doing all the checks of the car. You're not done with the checks? No. What are you doing? Oh, he's checking a bit more the fuse. Yeah. And then having the tools, if you need to like open some, some of the parts or if you have the part and that you need to replace it, voilà, you need the tools. Yeah, 
today it's not too bad to have this kind of failure as he said we are driving right home right now we have about uh, a bit less than two hours to drive but the day it's the day the sun is out so not having the lights is kind of okay because we don't have too much tunnels to go through and we already have the switch so we will be able to replace it when we arrive home we have it in the car yeah but we're not gonna do it now okay so there you go hope this will help you maybe realize the importance of knowing the car having some tools and also how the community works to help uh, each another. Yeah. Aussi connait la tête.
Oui. C'est bon. Ouais. Ouais, c'est bon. There we go. So we have a brand new light switch and a brand new Neyman. The light switch was the age of the car, so it did work well for more than 200,000 kilometers and the connector melt just not a long time ago and we had this like intermittent failure, so it was necessary to replace it. I do think it's a common failure on a lot of defenders, so for us it's wasn't a common failure, but it's more the other switch that causes us some issues. So we do hope that this light switch will go well for another 200,000 kilometers. Regarding the Neyman, so it wasn't especially planned to replace the Neyman. We did have some issue with the key and we also had some old failures on the name and with the connector at the back and also how were connected the cables. So just a quick background on our name and the one we had did have uh, the age of the car, but not the rear connector. First time we had some issue with the Neyman, it was an intermittent failure and that was really annoying. We didn't know what it was. So as usual, uh, we bought the car to a garage and they did find the failure, which is good because when it's an intermittent failure, it's always complicated. And sometimes you bring your car and then they give it back to you and say, oh, everything is all good. So they did find the failure and the failure was on the rear connector of the Neyman. So they did replace it. After that, a while after replacing only this rear connector on the Neyman, we did again have this intermittent failure. The car uh, did stop completely at some times, like for no reasons. And what we realized is that in fact, the garage that replaced the rear connector, they didn't use a proper connector for the cables and it was causing an issue. So we were really happy because we did find Pace Automotive on Instagram and they were kind enough to send us a connector. So my husband did replace the cable connector to connect the cable to the rear connector of the Neyman and everything was all good with the name and working and our issue was really the key now so as we were planning uh, to remove everything and replace the switch we simply did the work at the same time to have everything work properly when <laughs> wanting to uh, turn on the engine and then use the lights now the advantage that we see is that we know well this part of the car, meaning that if there's any other failure, we know well how to detect the failure and also like remove everything, do the checks, etc. So that's also a good advantage when you have some failures and that you're able to manage and solve them by yourself this is really helpful while on the road. Because the problem with those kind of failures is that they are intermittent and if you go to a garage, sometimes it won't happen when they have the car and they will just hand you back the keys and say, everything is all good, <laughs> we didn't find anything. So that's, yeah, that's a problem. But now as we know kind of a lot <laughs> around here for us, it, won't be a problem anymore. A tip here <laughs> when you are doing this kind of work on your car, never forget to take a picture of how the cables are connected to the connector because then you will lose some time trying to figure out if it's the green one, the red one on top, underneath. So yeah, it's a good idea to take your phone and just take some pictures along the way to be sure you put back everything properly. When you receive a new Neyman for replacement, you will receive two keys and also three door locks, three new door locks. And there's absolutely no need to replace 
the alarm so this is a good point for us because you know there's this famous or oh, infamous code you shouldn't lose when you buy the car which is kind of stressful so you just receive new keys new door locks and also what was good for us is that in fact the driver's door lock wasn't working for many years so now we have a brand new one and everything works properly 